Okay, we're over here. Go to math, kind of zoning out. We zoned out. Let's do literally inequalities. 3.2. This is like take three or something. It's been like some kind of mess up every time I do this. Um, hmm. Find the solution to the inequality. 3.2. Is that okay? Just making sure. And. Uh, why is that showing that? There we go. I did not want to have to restart this again. Okay, so quickly, let's get rolling here. So we have 19 X Minus 7 is less than 126. Less than 126. So we're going to add 7 to both sides. Add 7 to both sides. So now we're left with 19x is less than 133. I don't know, what is it, 133? Is that right? Can't add all of a sudden. See, take 4 away from that, give it to that, that's 133, yeah, okay. And now we multiply by uh, 1 over 19 to both sides. The reciprocal, because we want to get a 1 here for the coefficient of x. Right. 1 over 19. And so now we're left with x, no need to put in a 1 there, and 133 over 19 should uh, reduce down to what? What the heck is that going to reduce down to? Reduce down to something. Yeah. Okay. Should reduce down to that. C27. Not 63. Okay, yeah. So we got some other ways of kind of describing this. We can draw a number line. I always put zero on the number line. And of course, here is 7. Now we don't include 7, so let's not include it. We'll put a circle here. And it's everything to the left of 7, right? Everything to the left of 7, okay? So that's one way. We could do interval notation, okay? Negative infinity up to 7, and we don't include it. So we just put a parenthesis. So that's your solution set to the inequality up here, right? So if you were to plug 0 in, you would see that negative 7 is less than 126. I guess, where are we at here? x is less than 7. We better check that out. x is less than 7. So, time to check the scripting correct. And answer is correct. Okay, everything looks good. So, come on by, go to math.com. Practice. See you later.